take cells out of the incubator and put them under the microscope for quick cell check. Cells should be checked microscopically every day to ensure they are healthy, that means no contamination and only a few dead cells, and growing as expected. Cells should be mainly attached to the bottom of the dish or flask and the media should be pink-orange in color. The pH indicator phenol red turns yellow upon acidification as a result of metabolism products from the cells or contaminations in the media. MDCK cells are polygonal in shape when in the log phase and grow as a monolayer. They are difficult to see with normal bright field illumination. By switching to phase contrast, the cells can be identified more easily. On the Leica DMI-1, this can be done by simply moving the slider housing the condenser analysis. The phase contrast image gives a better overview and makes inspection of the cell morphology and cell counting easier. Documentation of the cell status is very important to ensure uniform results across experiments. The Leica DMA-1 can be equipped with a camera and screen which allows easy imaging and saving via remote control. Pipette off the medium from cells into a waste container. Carefully wash cells up to 3 times with 5 to 10 ml pre-warmed PBS without calcium and magnesium to get rid of the fetal bovine serum in the residual culture media. FBS will inhibit the trypsin. Add 3 ml pre-warmed trypsin EDTA and swirl gently to cover all cells at the bottom of the dish. Trypsin in combination with EDTA causes cells to detach from the growth surface. Incubate cells for a few minutes at 37 degrees to detach them. Different cell lines require different trypsin incubation times. To avoid overtrypsination, which can damage the cells, check them every few minutes under the microscope. Detached cells should be round shaped and free floating in the trypsin solution. As soon as cells have detached, add 5 ml culture medium to the dish to inactivate the trypsin. Transfer cell suspension into a 50 ml tube and spin them down for 5 minutes at 800 rpm. Aspirate the supernatant and resuspend the cells in 10 ml fresh medium to fully remove the trypsin. Mix 100 microliter cell suspension with an equal amount of 0.4% Tripen Blue solution. Tripen Blue selectively penetrates cell membranes of dead cells and stains them blue, but is not absorbed by living cells. Prepare the hemocytometer by placing the cover slip over the counting surface. Load the counting chamber with the cell suspension, around 4 microliter per counting area, by placing the pipette tip at the edge of the cover slip and gently expel the cell suspension. The area under the cover slip fills by capillary action. In most cases the chamber has two counting areas that can be loaded independently. Place the chamber on the microscope stage and focus the cells. The square pattern of the counting grid differs depending on the chamber type. The Fuchs-Rosenthal counting chamber you can see here has a pattern of 16 areas of 1 square millimeter, each bordered by triple lines. Each square is subdivided into 16 smaller squares. Count all the cells in one 16 square region, as shown in the figure. To avoid counting cells twice at the edges of the area, count only those cells on the lines of two sides of a square. In this example, the cells touching the upper and left limits should be counted, here marked by cigarette lines. Cells touching the lower and right limits should be not taken into account. Count the live and dead cells in five 1 square millimeter rectangles of the counting chamber. 
For calculation, you will need to combine the counting results from all five squares. For greater accuracy in the measurement, additional squares of the counting chamber can also be counted. The cell concentration can be calculated by the following formula. Pipette the required volume of cells into new dishes at the required split ratio and top up with culture medium to the required final volume in each dish. Here we use the split ratio of 1 to 10. Leave cells overnight to recover and settle. Check cells 24 hours later under the microscope for shape, adhesion and contamination. Cells should be attached to the bottom of the dish and starting to grow and divide. Grow cells until they are confluent and ready for your experiment or next subculture.